and we'll be starting with the recent past. We have the five of, five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords, you are likely to find yourself with some mixed feelings about life in general and maybe about a few people in particular. You didn't ignore these things, but you didn't feel like you had to speak every word about what you were thinking and feeling. As you knew that that could, excuse me, you knew that that would, that could or would easily ruin the things that you wanted the most such as close friendships and intimate relationships with friends and lovers. You thought several times before you really let someone have it, even if you knew they deserved it. You made sure to pick your battles. And that was with the Five of Swords, which is paired with the Ten of Cups. Now, with the Ten of Cups, which, it, which is another one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. Now, just keep in mind, this card, it points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up way, as opposed to more personal, less global, wish fulfillment promised by the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a good card. So, basically, this card speaks of a happy family life, even if you were single at that time, and to general well-being that goes well beyond you, yourself, to include those that are most concerned about you, such as parents, siblings, children, etc. So, being spiritually fulfilled at that time was part of your picture, or it could have been part of your picture. Just keep in mind that this is a good card to see regardless of your situation. Okay, so that was your recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Eight of Swords. Now with the Eight of Swords, take a good look at this picture. And it, it's pretty much showing that you may be holding yourself back because you fear, or you could fear moving into the future, or perhaps because you're afraid or weary of getting hurt by new situations or maybe for no reason at all. What you need to do is think through what is it that you're afraid of. The truth of the situation is that it's probably much less frightening than you think it is or than your mind is making it out to be. Now that card is paired with the Ten of Wands. Now with the Ten of Wands appearing, you may feel as though you are carrying a very heavy burden. So you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load either literally or figuratively. So if you look carefully, you may find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally actually belongs to someone else. So it will be very important for you to pace yourself at this time and not try to take on too much. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, 
It's just letting you know that you could be holding yourself back because of fear or afraid, or you could be afraid of getting hurt. Now this uh, Eight of Swords is paired with the Ten of Wands. So you're just making yourself feel like you're carrying a heavy burden with this fear. So just try to remember to pace yourself and not to take on too much. And that's in the present. And then we move on to the challenge. We have the hangman. Now with the hangman, it pretty much shows that you're at a crossroads. One with only two options. In or out, up or down, yes or no. So you could possibly find yourself very much wanting to do something, but you have no idea whatsoever what it is or how to do it. So just keep in mind if that happens, that's a clear sign that you should stop, relax, and make sure to look at ways that might well look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, and things. It's possible that there is an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Remember that any sacrifice you make will definitely open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. So keep that in mind because all in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you are willing to look at it or how you might best or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. Okay, so this card, the hangman, is paired with the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. You should be feeling charged up, full of energy, and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is more than likely to be increasing, and this should help you reach your goals. And just keep in mind, when you see the knights in the tarot, it's often uh, about message bearers. The messages are most likely to be very positive, and they could be related to work or career. Uh, sometimes your projects are likely to be or have been more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So you have a lot of reasons to feel pride, so you want to make sure you savor that. And with these two cards paired together, uh, the hangman is just letting you know you're at a crossroads. You need to stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life's situations and it's paired with the, the Knight of Wands, you should be feeling charged up with a lot of energy to do that. And messages, be, messages should be coming your way with positive words. Okay, and so this could help you to stop, relax, and look at ways that might need to let go of attempts to control life, people, and situations. And so that's going to be your challenge. And now we move on to the outcome. Now with the outcome, we start with the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups, it refers to romantic partnerships, as you can see in the picture. But... That is not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. In general, or basically this card, 
says that things are likely to be going very well for you now and you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. And this card is paired with the Ace of Cups. Now the Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card relating to love, happiness, and affection. Like all of the Aces, it, sh it is about new beginnings and although it usually means love, it can indicate it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of life. Could be work or whatever or maybe hobbies or whatever you enjoy doing. Now just keep in mind that things are looking up. Things are looking bright, positive. Okay, so in general, people will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually in the near future. You should be feeling good about life in general. This is a great time to make friends. So with these two cards paired together, uh, very, very positive cards, both of them. So your outcome is looking very bright because the Two of Cups is basically letting you know that uh, you, you will be feeling more than loved, cared for, and content. And with the Ace of Cups, paired with the Ace of Cups, uh, it relates to love, happiness, and affection, and new beginnings in the way of love, work, or career is right around the corner or at your door and that's once again that's your outcome so Aries I hope you enjoyed this reading I hope it resonated with you as you know general readings they don't always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if that's what you like to do and I thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.